Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Endocrinologists are people who specialize in hormones, particularly diabetes. Now, I have been hearing a lot of comments on YouTube suggesting water as a alternative method to bring the blood sugar down. Is that true? We are going to review that topic today. Tune in. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I have heard many times that people are saying that, oh, what you're saying is BS, just drink water, you'll be fine. Well, guess what? I am so glad that they're not my doctor. Oh, thank God. Because if you drink water, well, a couple of things can happen. You can drown yourself because your sugar is not going to come down by drinking water. Secondly, drinking water will help you. Yeah, it will. Because if your sugar goes up, guess what happens? Let's talk about physiology here. I'm not trying to be cocky here, but I'm trying to teach those people who think that they know and writing comments trying to mislead people. Don't do that. Don't do that because if you're not a doctor, if you did not study this and you just read something on Google somewhere, it does not make you an authority. So even when I say things, I always tell you guys, hey, discuss with your doctor. Don't just take my word and try to apply. No, I am giving you ideas, ideas that are backed up by science and research. So I'm not just talking from my gut. And you do the same thing. That will help a lot of other people. You want to help other people? Just talk if you know exactly what you're talking about. All right, so water. Water is a good thing, but there is really no evidence that the water will bring your blood sugar down. What does it do? It basically keeps you hydrated. Now, how do you know you're hydrated? Well, just look at your, like in your toilet. If the color is light, if it is, just looks like water, that means that you're drinking way too much water. Not needed. Unless you want to live your, half of your life in the restroom. Now, if you don't drink enough water, you're going to have a dark colored urine. That means you are dehydrated. Now, if your blood sugars are very high, about 200 to 220, your kidneys will naturally try to excrete the glucose. Now, when that happens, glucose is not going to come out in crystals. It has to have water with it. So you have to urinate a lot. So one of the symptoms of diabetes is what? Polyuria, which means excessive urination. Your body is trying to get rid of excessive sugar that is circulating in your blood. Now, if you're urinating a lot, and if you're not replacing that, what will happen? You will get dehydrated and may even go into coma from the dehydration. Your blood sugar will go up. Now, some people say that when you first wake up, you're dehydrated, and that's why your sugar looks high in your blood. That may be true if you are really dehydrated, but in a normal circumstance, just drinking water is not just not going to bring your blood sugar down. You know, it's just not going to happen. Now, in some people, if the blood sugar is coming down after drinking water, it's just because they start moving finally you know uh, yes moving around taking a little walk grabbing a water and walking around the house may help bring your blood sugar down in some cases but everybody is different some people's blood sugar actually start rising after they get up no matter what they do their blood sugar keep rising that's called non-phenomenon and you know there's so many factors that can play into your blood sugars you know what happens in the morning so just because your experience is you drink water it comes down doesn't necessarily mean that the water is bringing your blood sugar down but also that doesn't mean that you are prescribing water for other people so i hope that helps i hope that clears the cloud see you in the next topic if you like this video please give a thumbs up share this video with family and friends and definitely have a wonderful wonderful day